Well, have you heard about the show on the Discovery Channel called Eatin' Alive? Bryce Onslinger is here with why local animal experts think it's a pretty bad idea on quite a few levels. It doesn't sound like a great idea, Julie. The <laughs> idea for the show is for a guy to wear a suit with cameras on it. Then he was supposed to be eaten by an anaconda, anaconda I should say, and then pulled out of the stomach there. Mm. But you can see it didn't quite go according to plan. We want to find a record-breaking snake over 25 feet. And when we find this snake, I'm going to have a suit ready drenched in pig's blood. It's just going to decide that this is a meal it can't pass up. Mm, but it turns out being eaten alive by an anaconda is harder than the producers of the show may have thought. The host was being crushed by the snake so hard that he had to call for help before that snake could actually ingest him. I spoke with Thane Maynard, director of the Cincinnati Zoo. He's not surprised the uh, stunt did not work as planned, and he says the idea is bad for the animal. You're certainly not helping save anacondas if you're trying to spread the word about them by doing some sort of a stunt like this. Uh, for that particular anaconda, things would have turned out very badly if it had swallowed him, particularly if it swallowed him, and then they said, well, well don't worry, we're going to pull you out. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good. Maynard says it's likely that anacondas have actually eaten small children. He thinks it's unlikely that they eat very many full-grown humans, if at all. He says it's really just best to uh, avoid those, obviously, and they try right. to avoid humans. So, like they said in the show, they said the snake was running away from them. Well, if it's running away, then why are you going out? Let them go. Yeah. You know, so Makes that's sense. what happened. All, all right. right. Well, this story has started a conversation on Twitter all night and through this morning. Digital producer Mary Kate, she joins us in the newsroom to explain what people are saying. Mary Kate. Hey, Julia. That's right. My Twitter feed lit up last night with people talking about this during the show. And still today, viewers are taking to Twitter to complain that Paul Rosalie was only briefly eaten by the anaconda. Users tweeting that it was a complete waste of time, saying that next time there's something called eaten alive, somebody better be eaten alive. The Discovery Channel took to Twitter saying that they would be hosting a live Q&A on Facebook today. And of course, viewers are taking this opportunity to ask why he tricked viewers into thinking he would be swallowed whole. And here's one viewer who said he did a good job but thought the show was misleading to the audience. He responded saying that he agrees it was kind of misleading but there was never a promised outcome. And the questions are still pouring in right now. If you want to join the conversation, I have tweeted a link from the now Cincy. Julie. All right. Mary Kate, thanks.